Hi, I'm Pam Ginsberg. They call me Pam the Butcher here in Washington, D.C. I'm a born and raised Washingtonian. My father was a butcher, and I've been a butcher all my life. Broke my first side of beef when I was seven years of age. I uh, have the pleasure of running Wagshaw's Market in uh, Washington, D.C. It's the finest uh, meat market around Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. We've been voted Washington's top butcher five, six, seven years running. Here at Wagshaw's, we carry only the best of beef, veal, lamb, pork, uh, top grade prime uh, product. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to what's called here at Wagshaw's a saddle of lamb. Interesting cut. Uh, you go into a restaurant, you can be deceived quite easily. I have a lot of people come into our counter and ask for a lamb tenderloin. I'm going to show you that's not really what you're getting at a restaurant. So lamb tenderloin is about that big and that bigger round. So, so here we are. We're going to start with the whole lamb. Give you an idea of what you get once you're in the market, where it comes from. So this section up here would be the shoulder where your best stew comes from. These are your lamb shanks, the front shank. This region here is where that creme de la creme, the rack of lamb, your rib lamb chops, you know, the ones with a little handle on the end. And here is the loin. Uh, you might recognize it better as a porterhouse you know, of lamb. Here are the lamb legs. So this is the whole lamb. What basically happens is you're going to cut it off into the sections, the shoulder, the rib or the rack, the loin, the legs, and you split each piece. Hence, two legs, two loins, two racks, two pieces of shoulder, two front shanks. So today I'm going to introduce you, like I said, to this loin lamb, the saddle of lamb. So once we've opened it up and cut it away, you can see the kidneys here, okay? And here are the kidneys once we've broken it off the animal. So we're going to detach the kidney here and here. And remove this other organ meat here. And a little bit of this membrane, ventricles there. And these are extra flaps for the tail that you see on a loin lamb chop. Let's remember we're not making loin lamb chop. We are going to finish up with a lamb saddle, which basically is going to be no bone. This is the lamb tenderloin here. So first what we're going to do, we're going to split this on the saw. So this is just split loin of lamb. What we're going to do is we're going to debone it and we're going to tie the tenderloin into the loin, hence a saddle of lamb. So like I said, when you go to a restaurant, they say, oh, we have lamb tenderloin. This is the entire size of the entire lamb tenderloin. That's it right there. That's all. So you carefully get up underneath that center bone here, letting, letting the knife follow the bone so you're not going to gouge or lose any of the meat. And on the loin, sometimes you have these extra little feather riblet bones. You need to get out of there. Get up underneath again. Just like I said, let your knife follow the bone. Okay, so I'm going to discard some of this outer skin. Some people refer to it as a fell to expose the meat. I like to leave a little fat on this myself so it doesn't, it doesn't stand the chance to dry out. But either way, if you know how to cook lamb, you know that you want it a little, a little crispy on the outside. So, so basically what you're looking at here would be the New York strip of lamb with the tenderloin. As I said, when that bone is here, it would be your porterhouse of lamb. So we're going to trim a little bit of this out. Okay, roll it together, take a look at that, I like that little piece of fat there so that as it's roasting it will drip to keep it from drying out. Take a little bit of string here, tighten it up. When this is done cooking I like to cut it into real sexy medallions. You plate this, drizzle a little sauce under it, nothing is better. I prefer the loin lamb to the rack or rib of lamb any time. And all said and done, I prefer the rib cut of every other animal except for lamb. Here I like to go with the loin because it just has this enormous flavor.
So there you have it. And one lamb saddle. This is how we started with the bone. Tenderloin, bone in, boneless.